Okay, hello, we're back. We've just, Chris just has removed the pan from the oven. There goes my cane again. Um, make sure you always use two pot holders, the oven mitt kind. Don't use the square ones. You always want to have the full mitt on in case you hit your hand on the top of the racks or the inside of the oven chamber. If you have oven gloves, always use them. Those are the best. Or silicone. Okay, so they're out of the oven. We're going to do the toothpick test to see if they're ready. So Chris has the toothpick, and I'll let him take it from here. Okay, so we take them out of the oven. They've been in the oven for around 35, 37 minutes, something like that. And what you do is you take a toothpick and you put it right into the center. And when you pull out your toothpick, it should be clean. There should be nothing left on the toothpick. That lets you know that the center of it is done and it's clean. So if you can't see it, um, use your what is this one called? Your Fourth index finger. index finger and your thumb and run it on the toothpick. And if you feel any batter or anything gooey there, it's not done. Yeah. Oh, this one's ruined, so no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he ruined it. Good no, job, Chris. No, this is, this now is I have to just right. This, this is do a whole new right. video. All we have to do now is let this cool down. It's gonna, it's gonna have to cool down for a while before we cut into it because if we try and cut into it now, it's gonna be way too hot and kind of gooey, and it probably won't cut very well. We need to let it set up a little bit, and um, yeah, it looks like it came out just the way it's supposed to. And if all goes well, these should be really good. Now the top of this has the sheen and the crispy, light crispy layer texture of a brownie. And there's a large crack going down one side of it like a brownie would have. And um, we all know that blind people cook with their hands. So, you know, go ahead and feel it and make sure it's crispy a little bit and that when you press on it 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 um my, li be, my light keeps going up there shouldn't be much give when you press no on give it. it should be it should be pretty pretty firm you know you don't want to put your thumb through it or anything like that you just need to touch it you know and it should be pretty firm to the touch and again, you can always use the Be My Eyes app. They'll look at it and tell you if it looks done. Okay? So, um, since I'm doing the recording today, there are things that went wrong. There. <laughs> like the first part of the video um, kind of disappeared. So, Chris is going to tell you the ingredients you're going to need and the um, measuring and cooking implements. So, here goes Chris. Where? <laughs> he left. <laughs> okay. okay, he's back. All right. So, seeing as how we got cut off at the beginning, apparently, um, this recipe, of course, these were called the Tuxedo Cookie Bars. Um, Mrs. Fields. Yes, from the kitchen of Mrs. Fields. Hopefully, I don't I'm not copywriting infringing upon anything. No. But uh, anyway, um, we're not making so any money or bootlegging. These things are more like a brownie than a cookie. It says that they're cookie bars, but these seem to be more like a brownie to me. Anyway, um, so what you need for this uh, recipe is. One and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon baking soda, not baking powder, baking soda, half a cup of salted butter or one stick, one and a half cups of white sugar, regular old granulated sugar, three cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips, and that is the equivalent of 
one and a half bags basically. Um, one bag, it, 12 ounce bag is two cups exactly of chocolate chips. So you need, you're gonna need two bags of those. Uh, one tablespoon of pure vanilla extracts, not the phony stuff. You wanna use the real vanilla extract. Four tablespoons of hot water. Four large eggs and one cup of <laughs> white chocolate chips or vanilla flavored chips is what they should be called because there's no such thing as white chocolate. <laughs> that and, particular uh, thing irritates him. That's about uh, half a bag or six ounces is, is one cup of those. And yeah, mix all those ingredients and put them in a pan and this is what you end up with. So, I'm not putting my hand in it. My hand is on the edge of the on the handle of the pan, so don't freak out, everybody. If you see that. So the first, uh, the three cups of semi-sweet chips. The first two cups we melted into a saucepan with a half a cup of butter, and we made like a chocolate kind of sauce slurry with that. <laughs> and then we took that and we put that in. Once we melted the chocolate and the butter together, we took a large mixing bowl and we put the mixing bowl, uh, the chocolate mixture into the mixing bowl. And then we added in one and a half, the one and a half cups of granulated sugar. And we mixed that for about three minutes or so <laughs> until we made a kind of a grainy paste. I think we got that part. You got all that? I think we got the grainy part because I asked if it, um, if the graininess went away when you cooked it. Okay. And he said yes. And then we added the, um, we added the vanilla and the hot water. And then we put in the eggs alternately, one at a time. And then we put in the half teaspoon or the one teaspoon of baking soda and the one and a half cups of flour. And then finally we mixed in the out of the three cups of semi-sweet, the one cup uh, that we reserved out and the one cup of the. I think we got all this part. Chips. We I think we got everything from here on. And yep, yeah, mix that together, put that in a pan, and bake at 325 for 35 to 40 minutes. You can also use your talking thermometer, set it, put it into the center, and, and check the temperature. It'll tell you what it is. Okay? Okay, now back to me, because it's my channel. <laughs> okay, in my last video, I was talking about pruning plants and I said rhododendrons and lilacs to prune in the fall. What I meant to say was late summer. The fall is my favorite time of year so I usually just end up saying that. Um, and I also mentioned that I go to the Oregon Commission for the Blind and I need to let you know that I am not promoted or endorsed by them in any way, shape or form. I am using techniques I learned there. I have permission to. and. Um, when I graduate from there, I'll be done. Um, so I, that was kind of a disclaimer, I think. So we're going to try to edit this and get it out soon. Thank you for tuning in once again. I'm not sure what the next video will be. Maybe it'll be my GoPro on my head when I have to go into Portland, which is always, always fun. Okay, thanks. Bye. Say bye, Chris. Bye. Wait, I had to, I have to turn around. Okay.